Psychiatric diagnoses are very different from regular medical diagnoses. They have no supporting evidence. They're subjective in nature. They're put together by committees. You can't do lab work. You can't do imaging studies to support them. In my experience, I finally come to the conclusion that psychiatric diagnoses are more misleading than they are helpful. The fact is no evidence has ever been generated to support any chemical imbalance causing any psychiatric disorder. That is, none. Why is it then that we have such an incredible devotion to this belief if there's no evidence for it? The first reason I can give is that it, it plays into the interest of psychopharmacological companies. Uh, they make a great deal of money by perpetuating the idea that chemical imbalances need chemicals to make them better. The second thing is a little more of a, an illogic that's associated with the use of psychiatric medications themselves. These medications don't treat psychiatric disorders. They treat symptoms. But in doing that, they do change neurotransmitter levels. So they're changing chemicals. So the conclusion is then made an illogical one that therefore they surely must be changing something in the brain in the way of chemistry to make these conditions better. That in fact is not true. The analogy would be if you told me you took aspirin for pain and therefore you concluded that pain must be an aspirin deficiency. It would be the same illogic that's applied to mental disorders being caused by chemical imbalance. It's not true for pain, and it's not true for any psychiatric disorder. A complete psychiatrist is a psychiatrist who will not simply give you a diagnosis and start you on a psychiatric medication. That you don't want to settle for. You need a psychiatrist who, first of all, starts off as a personable person who listens to you, really listens to you, and focuses on your particular situation, your particular symptoms, your particular history, far more than he focuses on your diagnosis. In fact, if you find a psychiatrist who is more interested in your diagnosis than on who you are, you should probably get a different psychiatrist.